Hi guys, it's my shopping day. So it's the last week of the month for me till payday. We get paid on the 25th. So I think I had about 80 odd pounds left in my budget. I done really, really well, although I couldn't get a couple of the bits that I wanted to get at Aldi's today. So I may end up having to pop out. If not, I'll make do with what I have at home. I'm gonna let you have a look through my freezer and show you that I've got plenty in. So before that, let me run through next week's meal plan with you. So Monday we have pizzas. We'll just have like cheese and veggie pizzas and I'll make them homemade, so inexpensive to make. Tuesday we've got tacos, Wednesday pasta. I did want to do a pasta in a white sauce, but um, but like a cheesy mascarpone base, but they didn't have any in Aldi's. I may go out and get some cream and do it with that, or I might just do another type of pasta dish, but I wanna get a pasta dish in there. Thursday, chicken, chorizo and rice, and that's the recipe that I do in my Instant Pot. Thursdays are quite stressful now because Ollie started beavers, which is so exciting. But because the boys go cubs, Ollie has to be up there at half five and then picked up at seven and the boys need dropping off at seven and then picking back up at half eight. And usually in that time is when we do our food shopping. So trying to get dinner done as well as all those other things is quite tricky. So I need to do something that I can get done really, really fast. So I thought that'd be a really good quick instant pot meal that I can just get done super fast as soon as I get in from the school run. Friday, I put curry, Saturday barbecue, weather depending, but I'm sure we will. And then Sunday, my typical Sunday roast. So let me take you to my freezer. So I'm sorry it's really dark. I've got the flash on, which is making the the ice sparkle, clearly I need to defrost this freezer. But I, as you can see, I've got loads in here that I've picked up when it was on offer. I've got some barbecue chicken, some lamb, some beef kebabs, an extra loaf of bread. I've got absolutely loads in here. As you can see, there's plenty in here. I've got a couple of bags of fish. And this is my chest freezer where I just chuck everything and then I have another freezer which I'll show you. So in here I just have some bread items, some ice poles, um, as muffins and then Liam's yogurts. Then I've got veggies and mints and other bits in here and then more vegetables down the bottom. See I'm really stocked up so though I don't have many meats here I I definitely have enough to see me through until next week. I've got plenty. I kind of like to keep my freezers and stuff stocked up just because if something happens and I can't get to go shopping or shopping is delayed, at least I know I can feed my family until I get round to going food shopping. I mean, that's never happened, but you never know. And I'm always feeling like just in case I can't go food shopping for any reason, I've always got something that I can pull together and make a meal. So anyway, let me spin you around and show you how much I spent and what I got. So I was aiming to stick around about £50. I know I said I have a, just over 80 but um, in the budget, but I kind of wanted to stick around 50 that way. You know, I like to always be under rather than over. Excuse my fingers because I've been colouring Cameron's hair. They are clean. Um, I've just got like stuff around my nails. So I spent £49.59p. And, and then if we move on, I got some Jersey Royal new potatoes as they were part of their Super 6. So I picked them up. I got some British mushrooms and then I got some of these big mushrooms that we like to fill with cheese and then grill them and have them as a side which is really really nice. I got some potatoes, I got some spring onions, some garlic, some cherry tomatoes, some romaine lettuce, some cucumber so we've got stuff for salad, some mixed peppers which obviously you guys know that I will freeze them and they will just they're so convenient. Some bananas, a watermelon. We really enjoyed having the watermelon this week to eat throughout the, the day and the week. Some strawberries. Ollie wanted these strawberries. Um, if you watch my vlog, you've seen that we do have a strawberry plant and he was so happy that he managed to get two strawberries and he wanted to make a milkshake, but I was like, that's not enough. So he really wanted to buy some to make a milkshake. So we got a big thing of strawberries. I did get a plant. The slugs are enjoying it so much that I have nothing left. I need to figure something out. I've got some copper tape that I might put around the edge of the, 
the plant pot to keep them off. But this was half price and I'm going to use this in my meatballs for tomorrow night's dinner. So um, I picked one of them up. I got a small chicken. Normally for our Sunday roast we like beef. But chicken is so much more cheaper. So sort of the end of the month we'll, we'll take chicken. I got two of the quarter pandas and the cheese and onion ones from Aldi are so, so good. They are absolutely gorgeous. So I'll stick these in the freezer and then if we do have a barbecue, they are there. Then I got some palm cheese and this again is for my meatballs. Some mozzarella, this will be for the pizza. Some milk, some yogurts. Danny got his bird seed that he likes to take for lunch. I've got two things of pasta and garlic granules. This is like 40 odd p, really, really inexpensive. Some cola for Danny. I got my ciders, some flour. Again, it's a staple. We use it all the time. We'll be using it for the pizzas. We'll be using it for my Yorkshire puddings. Some eggs, some tomato ketchup, some long grain rice, some orange barley, and some summer fruits for the boys. Two tins of chopped tomatoes. I make all my red sauces with these chopped tomatoes and then I add my herbs and seasoning to that. I've got some stackers for me. I've actually already tucked into them. I just really fancied them. I really, really like these better than, in my opinion, Pringles. I got four loaves of bread um, and they were the Warburton's half off so I could stick these in the freezer. I actually really like that Aldi's have started doing this half off but you do have to watch them because she scanned it and she didn't do the half off. So I did have to say like, oh, that, that's got a red sticker and she had to take it off and then redo it. And they did that to me before with um, the potatoes, if you remember, and it ended up costing me more than if I'd have bought them full price to start with. So you really have to watch and make sure they do press the button to get it for the half off. And then I've got this big bag of crisps, these stack of crisps, and these will be for the boys to pack up. So for £49, for under £50, I think I did really well. So let me spin you back round and go through next week's Special Buys magazine with you. So here's a look at next week's Special Buys magazine, Fun on the Beach and Garden Style. Those chairs actually do look really good. So they've got clothes in. I actually really like that. 6 99 like loafers and hats how much wow I really like them chairs I think they're so cool they look like something you could find in Ikea. And garden bits. And their amazing meat offers. And their Super 6 fruit and veg. And also their sun cream is fantastic. I really recommend that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.